first step in hitting a golf ball correct is the grip that you have. Most people hold it like this where the pointer finger is with the pinky. When you hold it like a baseball grip like this, you don't have as much control over the club head as you would regular like this because when you bring it back like this, you're kind of forcing the club head to open up, which can cause the ball to slice this way or go that way. So the, the best way to hold a golf club is the grip like this where the pointer finger is over the pinky like that because you just have more control and it's just easier to keep the club head straight. Next step in hitting a golf ball straight is alignment towards the ball. You want to normally keep the ball in the middle of your stance, which that means is you want the ball to cut your body in half. So you put the ball right between your two legs. With the problem with lining up without the ball in the middle of your stance, makes it harder for you to get the most power and um, the ball will go higher if it's in the front and lower in the back. So you want to keep it in the middle so you have an even amount. With the ball in the middle of your stance, it gives you a better opportunity to make full contact with the ball because you're not stretching out like this if you were to say in front of the ball or behind, you're gonna be chopping down at it. But if it's in the middle, you're gonna have, the ball's gonna hit right in the sweet spot which is gonna make the ball go a lot farther and you're gonna get more distance. Some problems you might have in lining up is lining up too close or too far away. You want to put the club down and where it's right in the middle of the ball is right in the middle of your club, that's where you want to stand. So you put the club down like this and wherever it's right in the middle and you get lined up straight to it and then you're right there. Right now. The last step in hitting a golf ball straight is the actual swing itself. You want to have, the, like I said, the ball perfectly in the middle of your stance with it right in the sweet spot and you want to bring it back like this and right when your the club gets parallel almost with your shoulders is you want to bend your thing and reach back like this so it's almost touching my back but it's not yet and when you come down from this you want to use your hips and not all your arms so you don't want to just use your arms because you won't get as much power as your hips because your hips are a bigger muscle than your arms are so you want to bring it back like this and come down with your hips and then stretch out. And you should finish like this, like that. But you're, what you want to remember not to do is have the club hit your back because with it hitting your back, it could open up the club face or and it could cause you to just miss the ball completely and just make a bad swing. And the problems you might face is bringing too much hips and opening up your club head, leaving your club head. So your arms and your hips have to be in the same motion in order to hit the ball on the sweet, stop, sweet spot and hit it as far and as straight as you can. That's the most key thing to do. So you want to remember to, when it comes about parallel with the club, you want to start bending your arms and bringing it back like this. And when you come down, bring your hips and your arms with you, keeping the club head straight while you're making contact with the ball and rolling over your arms like this and following through like that. Look like when you go to hit the golf ball, you want to have your grip like this with your pointer over your pinky. Then you want to line up with the ball correctly in the middle of your stance. Put the club down like that where the ball is in the sweet spot of the club. Get your alignment like that. Look to where your, your shoulders are square with where you want to swing and hit the ball. Bring it down like this. Have your little bent in your legs to give you more mobility than just standing straight up. And you want to come parallel, bring your hips, and come through like this. Like that. So, and then it's going to